creating t-shirt designs by a freelance artist. Learned from watching an interview with Mike Rowe that when someone said that they were a, a freelance back when um, one was a freelance knight, more like a, a mercenary. So they would um, offer their services to the highest bidder. So it's funny how that word still exists, but it's nowhere near as um, intense as it was. We'll see if um, this will work as a, I think it'll work good as a tattoo design. Love the uh, Frankenstein fans. They know that uh, it probably seems a bit. Uh, Overkill posting the what looks like a similar same videos over and over, but um, if, if you like art or you like creating art, I just want to show you the amount of time it takes to uh, create something. And it's funny when people tell me uh, they look through my portfolio at times, my designs. And they're like, is that it? And uh, I'm like, yeah, that's it, man. Where's uh, your collection at? Where's, where's your designs at? I don't have any, you know. It's, it's interesting because they've, they've seen, speaking here about the, the assholes that I r have ran into that look at my work. They're like, oh, can I, can I check it out? And, they look at it and then they're like, ah. like, like no comment, right? And it, um, it's a little annoying because, um, when you try to be courteous to some of these people. Try to be courteous with as many people as as possible, you know, like people could just be having a bad day. Or sometimes you could run into someone that um you shouldn't uh for your own safety, for you the sake of your health, you shouldn't um, be disrespectful towards and they are just uh, genuine assholes who uh, believe that they're invincible. a little bit. 
That's why it's also good to use um, pen or micron in this case. And, um, a pencil because when you're erasing the um, the X's off from the, the white areas, you want to take off the design. I recommend that you also put in as much uh, attention to detail in your pieces or if you're buying a piece look look into that make sure that the stuff that you're buying is uh, has the attention to detail I've seen some artwork for, like man these bastards are selling it for um, equal to my price or more and uh, not even to drop any names, but because that's, that's their racket, and they're doing an honest living by doing uh, sometimes half-ass work. But I think it's more important to um, produce the best work you can, and also. Uh, sell it at a reasonable price I don't get some things when someone wants to spend one two three oh wait like 120 some bucks 150 180 bucks for some sneakers at all uh, eventually throw away don't won't even dare charge Spend half of that on the good tattoo right print. I like having that rag around because sometimes my my hands sweat. Well, they sweat a lot actually, especially with the. Little heat got going on, and you don't want that sweat to get on your on your pieces. No, so I, uh, I think um, documenting um, my uh, my stuff with these videos will be a reminder to those viewing it. That It wasn't um, simply done overnight. The portfolio was not created overnight. I wonder how many hours uh, G HR Giga put in, or um, Boris Vallejo and Julie Bell. Because you just see an awesome collection of work. I'm not a big fan of simply real, realist artists, 
but the way that they put fantasy and realism together is beautiful. I like the scene in the movie Scarface where this song is playing as they're um, counting the money in the banks. But that's a whole other lifestyle there. It's amazing when uh, Some people believe that the that, that lifestyle or what some people call the business believe that it's all um, cakewalk. When I was tattooing full time, I remember dealing with some of these clients. Some of those guys, uh, I realized that they were real life threats. Real life threats. Uh, I wouldn't want to see them on the street by myself in their, in their territory. You know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that because they're, they're the kind of guys that. Uh, Go along with your gut and instinct, and they're very uh, creative, street way. Then you look at the um, the news that the um, it's going on over there in Mexico, and that's a whole different ball game over there. It for now. That's my name on Facebook. If you want to add me or follow me?